I was looking for a school that had a lot of closeness, a lot of cordiality, and Suffield seemed like a perfect place. Everyone was so friendly. I had people coming up and introducing themselves just out of the blue. It's more of a family atmosphere than you sort of get by going to a bigger school where you can sort of get lost in the flow. It's big enough so that you get to meet new people, it seems like, every day, but it's small enough so that it still feels like a family-sized community. And once you have that community, people feel safer, and, you know, and you're a lot more comfortable. There was just something very intriguing about just the atmosphere to me. After I was through with my interview, I said to my mom, this is it, this is where I want to go. It's a fantastic spirit. What it's attached to is a route, too. I think there's an immediate sense when uh, a person walks on the Suffield campus that this is a community in which people connect. One of the things we've tried to hold on to as a school is, is keeping a small size, but keeping a really broad palette of choices for students in every dimension of life. When I think about students at Suffield, the first word that comes to my mind is involved. And it's truly amazing what, they, what they're able to accomplish in their time here. The unique quality of Suffield is our ability to combine the time-honored and the traditional as well as the innovative and the unique responses to a changing world. And that's certainly reflected in the educational program of the school. A very caring, very understanding, very nourishing environment is created by our faculty and staff here. If your whole screen, when you have your coordinate system, goes from only zero to one, how can you make a circle of six? First, you need to Every student has an advisor, and I think we do a very good job of keeping track of our students and communicating between ourselves and among ourselves how our students are doing. There's at least one adult on this campus who has a pulse on every student here. And it works. It works. I got extra help on my writing. Here we have Fool's Crow for the first time really taking on a challenge by himself. What are some of the conflicts? They tried to banish him, didn't work, boom, take his life. Just because he dies in the end doesn't mean he was defeated. There's a real shift in terms of It doesn't of feel like a job, so I guess that's why I know I'm in the right place, because it feels like life, it feels like what I should be doing, it fits. So the, answer the question we have to ask ourselves as a faculty every year is, how are we helping a student find out who he or she is? And more importantly, how do we help them find out who they can become? You don't do something without considering the implications of it seven generations into the future. Your emotions are always going to be involved in some way, whether it's like envy or greed. Galileo asked questions. He right. questioned what right. had been imposed upon them. Well, I work very hard to make the classroom an exciting uh, experience for the kids. I feel really strongly about that, and I have been doing it long enough so that I really feel that I have a sense of uh, changing dynamics within the classroom. To me, sometimes it's almost like directing an orchestra. Democratic, sort of egalitarian kind of situation. He did not like the idea. Are people by nature prone to argue with each other? If you're in a good mood and you're happy about stuff and you're content with your life, you don't... The type of student who's here is a high energy, high enthusiasm student. The kids who are willing to work, who are willing to extend themselves, that accept the challenge that the school has to offer. They are the ones who succeed. Suffield has changed my life. It's made me be my own person and given me responsibilities and made me follow through with those. There's an incredible mixture of, of students that come through these rooms every day. These days, they come from every part of the world. Having international students at this school and kids from all different cultural backgrounds and uh, having a really diverse population at the school, it really opens up your eyes and it's almost like you're experiencing the world through other people. I'm from Lithuania and the first thing when I came here was thinking that it's nice to learn about the culture, like American culture, and at the same time to, to tell people what Lithuania is all about. Suffield is a very large family. Uh, I think you feel it most uh, at lunch when you're sitting in this huge room with everybody in the community right there. 
open mic show? Is that good? It's our daily family gathering, and uh, the closeness uh, that I think represents Suffield is brought to bear. There are a lot of smiling faces at lunchtime. It reminds me of dinner time at home. It's definitely like a home-style meal, and you feel so at home and so at ease. It's a good social time, and it's just very comfortable and very relaxing, so I think that's why people really enjoy it. I got to meet a lot of people because every two or three weeks those tables would shift and I got to meet new people who I knew. Maybe I'd heard about them or heard their name, but I didn't know them that well. And this is how I got to know people. It's bringing everyone together and I think that's important. It's just as important to see what it doesn't have as what it does have. This afternoon we're gonna we're gonna hike this trail. We've been on it several times uh, in the last couple of years. We've been doing some work on it. It's a nice day out. And probably spent a couple of hours out here. It's a classic New England town, the town of Suffield. Uh, the campus, not too large, not too small. When I first come down the street, I just say, wow, it's, it's beautiful. When I first came to Suffield, it was um, spring day. It was early May, and it was glorious. And the campus was beautiful. It makes you feel part of nature. We were the first school in the nation in which every student has a laptop computer. And we have been very innovative in the classroom, certainly led by the faculty and led by the students in the way we have asked the question, how can a computer assist what we're doing in the classical liberal arts curriculum uh, that we have? I love having a laptop because I can bring it with me wherever. We have our own program called Suffield Online, or SOL. We can send emails to our teachers through there. We can get emailed by the teachers. Uh, we have open class discussions on there. They can plug into this network all over the school, in the dormitory rooms, in the classrooms, in the library, in the student union. So the idea is to take this piece of machinery with you wherever you go, wherever you need it, plug it in and get your work done. Not only are we using these for academic purposes, but we need to get them used to seeing this technology as part of their life. It's good for you to be playing every day. I wrote that in your advisor comment. Yeah, I'm so much more comfortable this year. Mm, obviously. <laughs> That's pretty clear. I wrote that too. I play field hockey, and my advisor is also my coach. When I found that out, I was a little nervous because I thought, wow, she's going to be watching me all the time, every move I make. But I think that it's really made us grow closer and have a stronger bond. Gyms would be good, but on the right track. For me, athletics is really important. I like staying in shape, and I love playing field hockey. Historically, Suffield has placed a very high value on not only the intellectual and the mental, but the physical health of our students, and that continues to the present day. Let's go. Settle down. Control the ball. Here we go. Here we go. Team on three. One, two, three. Ten. Box out. Our feeling has been, still is, that the competition of athletics on an interscholastic level is the epitome of, of what you're trying to teach kids. Just play a little cat and mouse. They're gonna draw. The challenge of trying something they've never tried before, to be able to work with others and push themselves. We feel those same kind of traits are gonna be important no matter what they do in life. 
For the size of our school, Suffield definitely has a great sports program. We place schools the same size as us till up to almost a thousand students in their school. And we are very competitive with them and that's part of a lot of our school pride and spirit that we'll uh, go out and beat these teams. I think athletics at Suffield are one of the greater aspects of the all-around education that you get here. And it's great because it's an outlet. Piano or music in general and wrestling are kind of opposites. And I think that's why I do both of them. Because after practicing two hours wrestling, it feels good to just switch and go 180 degrees and practice piano for two hours or an hour. You get two different perspectives kind of of life. When I play music, it makes me feel good. I guess that's the only way I can explain it. Singing in a choir for me, I really enjoy it. It's good because you share experiences. It's taking tons of different knowledge and just fusing it together so that it comes out into something that's beautiful. This area, I might develop a little bit more yeah. if you look at it. And the fish have a little bit of white in them too. Yeah, more sh a little bit streakier. Really and truly, the arts have emerged as one of the very strongest uh, curricular areas at Suffield. What's so incredibly important is when you represent a disc, and that's really what these sprockets are. The kind of learning that takes place in art is very rich. It causes a, a young person to have to be very resourceful and to reach very deep for answers to a question that they perhaps have never been confronted with before. It really has a lot to do with getting to know yourself. Now to do that in a drawing, you have to just keep that flow going. It's about flow. What does that have to do with the, the fact that this story keeps coming? I think Suffield is a community of people who really, truly care about who you are and how you're developing. To be a part of a community where I have a faculty team and an administrative team and students that are pointed in the same direction and aspiring high uh, is a tremendous satisfaction. We wanted to take each part of the When the time comes for me leaving Suffield, I think that I'm going to miss the feeling of a community, knowing everyone, and it's going to be really different without them. I'm probably going to miss most the people at Suffield. It's relationships that you make for life. I love it here. I can't ever imagine working or teaching anywhere else. It is an exciting place. It's a place that I love. It's a place that I am committed to. It's home. It really is home.